Hi everyone. Welcome to my Spirit Speak Saturdays. Um, this topic today by the title up there is all about raising your vibration. What is it? How do I, how do, I do it? What are some of the tricks? What are some of the tips to make me live a more fulfilling and abundant life? All right. So when you are on a low vibration, you attract low vibrational energy to you. Okay, because there's a saying, as within, so without, as above, so below. Okay, so whatever you're feeling on the inside, you're projecting, even if you don't feel like you're projecting it out, you're projecting it out. Trust me, the world is feeling it. So the universe sends you vibrations that match the vibration that you're projecting out, because the universe only knows how to do one thing. That is agree with you. Okay. Because we have free will. So we create our own reality. We create our own life. Okay. The universe just gives us the opportunities to create our own life depending on the vibration that we're putting out. If we have a low vibration, we are, and we're putting out low vibrations, it's attracting negative things to us. It's attracting, you might wonder why you just keep having bad luck after bad luck after bad luck after bad luck. It's because you're putting out a low vibration. Now, when you put out a higher vibration or a little bit of a higher vibration, you attract opportunities, good opportunities. You attract good luck after good luck after good luck after good luck, which makes you in turn more happier and you attract more, 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 more. Okay, so how do I raise my vibration? How do I get on that vibration to where I can attract good stuff to me? This is all laws of attraction. And I can tell you, personally speaking, when I was on a low vibration, I had bad thing after bad thing after bad thing happen. As soon as I started raising my vibration, I started attracting more good stuff to me, more good luck to me. But the thing is, is with that, when you do that, when you're on a higher vibration, anything that's lower vibrational will tend to leave your life. So you got to be willing to let that low vibrational stuff go. I did notice that, you know, when I was on a low vibration, I was drinking a lot. I was, um, you know, just doing a lot of stuff, eating bad food, eating junk. I was doing a lot of stuff that, you know, just wasn't good for me. It wasn't good for my body. It wasn't good for my mental state. It wasn't good for um, my happiness in general. Okay. But then when I started to raise my vibration, it's like, I didn't completely cut out drinking, but it's like, it didn't appeal to me as much as it did before. And the same with my eating habits. Like when I started raising my vibration, you know, junk food, sweets, stuff like that really didn't attract me as much. You know, I would have it every once in a while, occasionally with moderation, but it was like, I didn't need it. Okay. So that's what happens is it, it'll like start flushing out low vibrational stuff. Okay. All right. So that's what it is. And that's how it can help you with your life just by raising your vibration. How do we, how do we start doing that? When we're in a depressed state, a lot of us don't want to get out of that depressed state. And that's just because that's your ego telling you, no, we got to stay here. This is where it's at. This is where we need to be. So it'll be hard for you at first to raise your vibration. It will be extremely hard to get that motivation to get into these good habits to bring better things into your life. So where do we start? How do we start when we don't, when we lack that motivation? Well, one, one is by drinking water. Drink tons of water. I'd say like three, four cups a day. All right. And make sure at least one or two of those cups have lemon in it. It is very important. Lemon in the water. Lemon scientifically does, um, 
something to a gland in your brain. I can't remember what the gland is. I probably should have looked it up before I started the spirit speak. But it's a gland in your brain that rele releases a certain hormone that makes you happier. I think it's oxytocin. Um, but the lemon will stimulate that, will get that going, will add more oxytocin you know, chemical in your brain, which will make you a lot more happier. It's science. Um, also, rose quartz. Having tons of rose quartz. Do I have any rose quartz in here? Yeah. Rose quartz. This. Because this boosts healing. It boosts heart healing. It boosts self-love. It boosts um, your ability to heal any past wounds that might be causing your lower vibration. So, you know, you can put this, I do this often. Um, I do drink a cup of rose quartz water a day. You put the rose quartz in the water and you say into the water, my intent is to raise my vibration. You put that intention into the water, into the crystal, let it sit for seven minutes and then drink it. And you will notice it, it, the water will taste different from just having a regular glass of water to having the rose quartz water. It'll be more charged, more infused, and you'll feel better about yourself. You'll feel better about life, which is in turn raising your vibration. And this is how you just, this is how you start. Okay. Because this is simple. It's easy. You don't need a lot of motivation to do it. And this is how you can start raising your vibration and when you start raising your vibration, you'll have more motivation to do more things to raise your vibration. Another thing is meditation. Okay, meditation is key. Whether you are just going by yourself for like 15, 20 minutes a day and just clearing your mind, taking some deep breaths, clearing your mind of any stress or 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 anger or anything just clear your mind just let it be let yourself be for 15 to 20 minutes a day by yourself because this just gives you gives your soul your soul the opportunity to speak to you to tell you what you want what you need where you need to go what you need to do all right, so it's very important to do meditation. I will link some meditation um, channels that I watch in the description box below. So if you want to, you can um, go and check those videos out. They have lots of chakra balancing meditations. And when you want to raise your vibration, it is very important um to balance your solar plexus chakra, make sure your and your heart chakra, because those are the two things that will really help you have the motivation to raise your vibration. Also, if you balance your crown chakra, you will naturally balance all of your chakras. It, they will just naturally come in line. All right. You can do that through sleep meditation. Um, if you don't like to listen to noise or listen to soft music or anything like that while you sleep, there are also 15 minute chakra balancing meditations too that you can do while you're in the shower or, you know, while you're sitting in your room on your bed or whatever. Um, but it's important because it's helping, it's expanding your mind. It's opening your mind because when you are in a limited mindset. When your mind is closed and you're in a box, you're on a lower vibration because the box can only handle so much vibration. So you're on a lower vibration. When you expand your mind and you come out of that box, you can begin to be on a higher vibration because um, higher vibrations cause more frequency, so it needs to be out of that box. So meditation helps you get out of that small box. And when your mind is open, then you can start rewiring your brain to a more positive thinking style instead of a negative thinking style. Because when you're thinking negatively, you only bring negative to you. It's like I said, the universe only knows how to agree with you because you have free will as a human being. 
Okay, so it only knows how to agree with you. So if you think things are negative, yes, things will be negative. If you think things are going to be positive, yes, they will be positive. It's all about rewiring your brain here. Okay, affirmations. Affirmations are important as well. Like, um, I know when I started off trying to raise my vibration, I'm on Facebook. I know a lot of you probably aren't, but they have them on Pinterest. They have them on, um, I don't know what other social platforms, because I only use Facebook and YouTube. Uh, Instagram, I think, has it. Snapchat has it. Um, but whatever social media you go to or whatever, you know, and you can also just look up positive affirmations for the day. But I would suggest picking three positive affirmations a month and um, say those three positive affirmations to yourself every day. All right. Look yourself in the mirror every morning when you're brushing your teeth or when you're washing your face or you're getting ready for the day. Look in the mirror and say, I love you. Look directly into your pupils and say, I love you. Even if you do not believe it at first, over time, over time, you will start to believe it. It's that fake it till you make it thing, right? Smile at yourself in the mirror. At first, it might seem weird, but then you'll notice as time goes on, you're, you will be giving yourself genuine smiles. And when you start giving yourself genuine smiles and you genuinely believe that you love yourself, that's when you know you have started. Your vibration is on a high level. Okay. Another thing to do, you know, at, like I said, these are steps because you're coming out of depression. You're coming out of a low vibration. So at first you might have to take these little baby steps until you start getting that motivation and start until you start feeling really good. Right. But when you start feeling really good and you start getting the motivation to do things, make sure your house is clean, clear. You know, once a week, go through your house and really clean your house, all right? Sage it. Sage it, sage it, sage it. Um, two times, I, I recommend when you're starting to raise your vibration, two times a month. Sage your house two times a month. Not only does sage um, cleanse and clear the energy in your, in your house, but it also kills flu bacteria, any airborne bacteria that's in your house, it kills it. My family, there's, I think there was only two of us that got sick with the flu. And my daughter, she got sick with the flu for three days. I got sick with the flu for two. And it's because I constantly sage my house. It didn't run through everybody else in my house. Nobody else in my house got it. All right. It's because I constantly sage my house. All right. Sage yourself at least once a week, at least once a week. You're cleansing and you're clearing all that negative energy because when you start raising your vibration, your um, the lower vibrations need to go. So it's like you're raising it and then when you're saging, you're clearing out all those negative vibrations, all that negative energy, and it's allowing you to um, vibrate on a higher frequency. Positive people and negative people, okay? So once you start to raise your vibration, you might notice that there are some people around you that um, you get bad feelings about. And you're like, why have I never had a bad feeling about that person before? But all of a sudden, I'm starting to have bad bad feelings. I'm starting to have like intuitive feelings about this person. Why? Why is that? It's because they're on a lower vibrational frequency and you are on a higher vibrational frequency. Now, you can talk to them. You could give them the tools on how to raise their own vibration. But if they don't take it, then you can't really do nothing. You can lead a horse to water. You can't make them drink, right? So, um, you know, you'll know that you'll start noticing that. And then you'll know, and you'll know, also notice that. Um, other people on a lower vibration, some of those people that are meant to be in your life, they'll start raising their vibration naturally. It's like 
once you start raising your vibration, you're activating them to raise their vibration. So the people that are supposed to stay in your life will stay in your life. The people that operate at a lower um, negative frequency that won't raise their vibration, they'll make your their way out of your life. They won't want to be around you because they will feel like um, either they're not worthy of you, they will feel like they're not good enough for you, or they'll feel like, you know, that's that's why they exit. That's why they exit. But it's the universe making them exit because they are not matching your vibrational frequency. But do you really want to stay on their low vibrational frequency when you can have a much positive, positive and happier life on a higher vibration? So also, you know, those people that do leave your life, you will have for every person that leaves your life, you will have another person come into your life that it, that matches your frequency, that matches your vibration, all right? And these are your true people. These are your true soul tribe. These people you can trust. These people want to see you succeed. These people want to give you the love that you're giving to them in return. It's equal, all right? So if there is negative people leaving your life, it's very hard because we get, as humans, we get emotionally attached. I'm not saying it's easy. I've had to kick out a couple of people out of my life that I, you know, I truly, truly felt for, that I truly cared for, but they just were not on my same vibrational frequency and they wouldn't change. Okay. So, um, just know, just know, and I, I gave them, I wish them love and light when they left too. I was like, I hope you I hope you fix yourself because I don't need you dragging me down. I don't need you lowering my vibration when I'm making myself happier. So just know that that will come about. All right. And, you know, I'm here for support. If, if that's how, if that's happening to you, you know, that's why this channel, I've created this channel to help people raise their vibration so that when people are raising their vibration and they're feeling lonely and they're feeling stuck, they have some, they have a community to go to a community of people who are also trying to raise their vibration. So, all right. So do what makes you happy. That's another key. To raising your vibration as long as it doesn't hurt anybody <laughs> as long as it doesn't hurt anybody do what makes you happy you will notice when you start raising your vibration you will find your true passion you will find out what actually truly makes you happy do that dive into that go bravely into that because that will up your happiness that will up your vibrational level right? Because we're living on what our true soul's purpose is. We're staying true and authentic to ourselves. And that raises our vibration. Exercise. Exercise is another key to raising your vibration. I don't like exercise. I don't, I've never been one to hit the gym all the time. All right. I am not a person that likes exercise, but I do go out for walks. I, I do swim in the summer. I do, you know, uh, bike ride, you know, stuff like that, you know, stuff that seems fun. I dance in the wintertime a lot. I love to dance. So, um, whatever physical activity you can do that ups your endorphins in your, in your brain and makes you more happier, that also, also raises your vibration. Don't think that you have to, I'm sorry, my nose itches. Um, don't think, don't fall into traps is another one, okay? Because there are some traps out there for people raising their vibration. And it says, you have to cut out meat. You have to buy crystals. You have to go on um, every, like an hour every day. You know what I mean? Don't fall into traps like that because you are raising your vibration and you are raising your vibration to be authentic to yourself. Okay. If you like to eat meat, I do not judge because I eat meat as well. I do. I eat meat and I'm on a high vibration. Okay. Um, 
you do what is best for you. If you want to go vegan, if you want to go vegan, I'm all for that too, because that is what your true authentic self is telling you to do. Do what your true authentic self is telling you to do. Don't think you have to you have to cut out partying all the time. Don't think well you you kind of do, but it's called moderation. It's doing it in moderation, okay? Um, now, if you're an alcoholic, I'd say, yes, you have to do that. You have to do that because your true authentic self doesn't want that around you. That's why you're doing it so much. You need to, you know, I'm not promoting alcoholism, but I'm saying don't think that you've, that um, in order to raise your vibration, you have to cut out everything, that you have to totally rework your lifestyle. No, stay authentic to yourself because your soul self knows what it means, okay? Um, I'm also going to uh, post some links from my other videos in this video. Uh, my video, my two videos that I put out for Dark Knight, and I think I put out another Spirit Speak, I'm not sure, but I will be linking those below in case you wanna go check those out. Um, when you're in the Dark Knight of a Soul, it's really hard to raise your vibration. Uh, that's why I recommend water and lemon and rose quartz first, okay? I recommend those first because those will just, those are like the little energy boosts that you need in order to start raising your vibration. Once you, once you get a little energy boost and you start, it's like it builds up momentum and builds up momentum and builds up momentum so that the other things I've listed here can come more easier to you. you. You'll easily fall into those habits. It's like I said, it's baby steps one day at a time. And I start, like I also said, I started this channel so that people, I can help people raise their vibration. I can help bring them out of um, that, you know, that depressed low energy. So this is a community. I'm trying to create a community here where people, you know, when you start raising your vibrations, lower vibrational people fall away. So I'm trying to start a community here where we, where we can support each other, where if we feel like we're alone, we can come, we can talk, we can, you know, interact. And that's what I want to do. All right. There's also um, groups on Facebook that you can go to, light worker groups, um, you know, raise your vibrational groups, healing groups on Facebook that you can also go to where people are trying to raise their vibration and they're feeling lonely too because they're raising their vibration and others around them are are leaving. So um, make sure you're checking out groups that that are that can help you raise your vibration as well all right don't fall into traps okay you're the key here is to be authentic to yourself to raise your vibration and be authentic to yourself because when you're authentic to your true self you live a much more happier and fulfilling life and you will attract those that that also want you to live your most happy and fulfilling life. All right. Well, that's all I got for Spirit Speak this week. I know it went kind of fast. Um, I think one of my other ones was like 40 minutes long. Uh, next week on Spirit Speak, I want to um, talk about the energies, light and dark energies, how we need them both, how they help us out, how to properly balance them. So that's, I think that's what I'm going to do for my next Spirit Speak. But uh, let me know in the comments below how this resonates with you or if it doesn't resonate with you. Like I said, this is a community here. Um, please keep your comments positive. Even if they, even if it goes against what I'm saying, I do not mind criticism as long as it's constructive. So watch how you're saying things. Uh, if you're nasty or rude, I will delete you because this is a place for positivity. This is not a place for uh, negativity. You can state your opinion, but state it and even if it goes against what I say, just make sure it is in a constructive, in, in constructive way, not in a negative, not in a nasty way. All right. 
Well, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. And next Saturday, uh, 1130, I will have the next Spirit Speak up. Also, I am doing another Dark Night video that will be up on Wednesday. So make sure you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, make sure the bell is ringing. Um, I do want to mention that in February, the first Friday in February, I'm going to be going live and I'm going to be doing some special card, some special things on there with my cards. <laughs> so make sure that that bell is notified. I'm going to do um, what I call freebie Fridays every Friday. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Love you all and take care. Bye.